Always, always. Good morning and welcome to a Tech Talk Tuesday that actually got shot on Wednesday, so it's gonna get aired on Thursday. And here we are, thanks for joining in. And today we have a highly requested, and I mean highly requested, maybe the highest requested talking point for Tech Talks that I've had since we've started the channel. We've got them all right here. We're talking about the differences in the power saddles, right? I got all three here, and within each three models, there's also different price points. So we got a lot happening. But um, yeah, let's um, let's just hop right to it. Okay, this is the power, the classic power. This is my favorite saddle, and I have not tried the other two saddles because I feel that saddles are quite uh, complicated to figure out and I've got one that works and why change? It, work, it works good. So that, that's why I haven't changed. I ride two versions of this saddle. Now let me rephrase that. I ride two price points of this saddle. I have the Power Pro, which is what we have here. This is gonna be a carbon shell. It's on the very bottom. These are all new saddles I just pulled off the floor. But um, so carbon shell. Quite stiff, so along with the carbon shell, you're also gonna get tie rails. This I use on my cross bikes and on my camber. On my road bike and on my Epic, I have the S-Works version of the traditional power. And the differences there is rather than it being two piece, one carbon shell and piece number two being a tie rail, it's a one piece carbon shell and carbon rail unit. So I run those on those two bikes because they're lighter, it's a little bit stiffer. So the overall flex of the saddle, of the shell, is a little bit stiffer. And uh, the carbon rails are not prone to break on those two items. And cross, we don't wanna risk having a saddle break in the middle of a race, so we play it safe. You know, you hit a hard bump and the bike is coming up and your weight's coming down, that's a surefire way to, to break a rail. And we don't want that in a cross race or any risk of that, so we run the tie rail play it safe and sound, go prepared, you don't need to worry about it. In that, you have the S-Works, the Pro, the Expert version. The Expert version stays with the tie rails, goes to a plastic shell, as represented here in the uh, arc, but uh, just look at the, the shell for right now. And then below that you have the comp, and the comp goes up in padding, and it moves to a chromoly rail, so a steel rail, and then a, a softer shell and more padding. So of all of them, that's the utmost padded and comfortable within the power line. Now on to version 2.0 of the power, the power arc. So a few folks felt that the power had too flat, um, this edge was too sharp. Right, it didn't roll enough. It was kind of a ledge, and it would dig in on the on the backside to your to your leg. A lot of customers didn't like that, so Specialized created the Power Arc. Exact same front end, exact same back end, but these wings on the sides drop off much more quickly, much more quick, much much I don't know, more more aggressively, and they roll a little further down. So this is the Power Arc, um, quite popular by a few folks here at Kinetic and customers alike. I haven't tried it uh, because like I said, I like the power, I don't have that problem and it's been such a fantastic saddle, I don't see any interest in changing. This has the same price points as well. Comp is gonna be steel rails, plastic shell. You have the expert tie rails with a plastic shell. The pro tie rails with a carbon shell and then the S-Works one piece all the way. Now the Pro and the S-Works are gonna be a, an extremely stiff shell, which I, I like, uh, and then a little bit of padding is, is good. Another thing to mention on all of these saddles is that they're gonna come with a SWAT capability to put your Bandit or tube wrap or a tube spool or whatever other option you want. It'll bolt right onto the saddle, so primo. All right, part two, back at it. Uh, Power arc, yes. So quick recap, more rounded on the edges. Same, of course, of course, of course. We'll keep talking. Same length, uh, same profile, all the above. Okay, power arc. 
And then option number three, the power elaston. Okay, so this entire profile setup is gonna be based around the traditional power, the o we'll call it the OG power. Uh, however, there's gonna be a stripe across the center of this that uses a material called elaston in it. Not, not product endorsed, but uh, not even trademarks shared or any which way, but uh, very similar to the old Adidas Ultra Boost, or uh, Boost Sole. So it's a certain type of foam that is put into it that they say is like sitting on a cloud of pillows. So basically it's like a memory foam, best way to describe it. They put it in the portion of the saddle where you're gonna sit bones are gonna be most um, most time spent on the bike, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Like a memory foam. So like your bed, like your favorite kicks, this is gonna help you out with that setup. Uh, I have not ridden this saddle as well. It's more of an endurance based saddle. Um, I think for those guys that are gonna be doing say like Leadville or um, Rag Ride or the Death Ride or just day after day after day uh, race across America or you're just like one of those guys who wants to ride six hours or seven hours every weekend uh, every day on the weekend and just like to get the get the miles on this might be a great option for you just to take that little bit more of the edge off if you're out there and you are currently using this saddle let me know I'd love to hear your feedback and uh, looks pretty killer to me but I have not tried it yet either and once again available in S Works Pro expert and comp price points. This uh, might not be available in the comp price point, but uh, definitely S-Works Pro Expert, uh, so pretty killer options. So hopefully that answers your questions about what the power saddles are all about. We have three versions of each uh, of the, the power saddle, power OG, power arc, power elaston, and then within that we have four different price points, S-Works Pro Expert and Comp, and uh, yeah, that's it. That's a wrap for this Tech Talk Tuesday that got shot on Wednesday, so it's aired on Thursday. We'll get back to Tuesday that gets aired on Wednesday. Thanks for tuning in. Keep letting me know what you wanna talk about, or what you want me to talk about, answer more questions. So we will see you guys on the next one. That's a wrap, over and out. Peace.